The Institute for Faith and Freedom at Grove City College presents the Student Fellows of Faith and Freedom. Welcome to another episode of Season 3 of Meet the Fellows of Faith and Freedom. I'm your host, Jacob Adams, and today we have Sebastian Anastasi as our guest. Before we get started with Sebastian, I just wanted to remind you all to head over to faithandfreedom.com, where you can find tons of awesome scholarly op-eds by a lot of our professors, updates about the events that we'll be hosting here on campus, as well as a link to Liberty Mail, our new podcast. So be sure to check that out as well. Tons of awesome resources. Uh, and so with that, Sebastian, why don't you introduce yourself, tell us what your major is, what year you are, where you're from, um, and then if you could just give me a little bit about why you joined the Institute for Faith and Freedom. Absolutely. So like Jacob said, my name is Sebastian Anastasi. I am a junior economics major with a math minor here at Grove City, and I'm a research fellow at the Institute for Faith and Freedom. And um, a little bit about why you joined the Institute in the first, first place? Oh, yes, absolutely. So. I had the opportunity as a local of Grove City to get to see the work of the Institute for Faith and Freedom from a very early point. And that was specifically by taking some courses with Dr. Ken Gore. So I knew right away going into Grove City College that uh, what the Institute for Faith and Freedom was doing was valuable and was something that I wanted to be involved in. That's awesome. And so you could tell me a little bit about, you mentioned economics and math or, or what you're studying here. If there's mm. particular issues um, just in the world at large that you're really passionate about or interested in. Absolutely. Uh, there are so many because the state continues uh, to overreach uh, its proper bounds by any conservative or libertarian uh, standpoint. And so one of those for me that, I, uh, that matters to me deeply, both because my sister's type 1 diabetic and because I believe uh, is something that affects so many Americans, is government overregulation of medicine and medication. Uh, I think that this has driven up prices like crazy. I think it's uh, decreased access to helpful uh, new, uh, new treatments. And so that's something that I think the uh, United States needs to be talking about. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really important. People always assume when you don't support more government intervention in the health industry that you don't want people to have health care. It's like, no, that's our motivation. We want as many people as possible to have Right. It. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. Yeah. And so could you tell me a little bit about some of the projects you've been able to work on as a research fellow so far this semester? Absolutely. So I've got to work with two different professors. First, I've been working with Dr. Sean Rittenauer, and we've been specifically analyzing uh, the economics of growth and, and what economic factors contribute uh, to a growing economy. And we think that's really important because there are a lot of leftist, um, often Keynesian economists, that are pushing a false narrative uh, that justifies government intervention. So we're hoping to debunk um, some of that and uh, yield a little bit more truth and a little bit more honesty on that issue. Uh, and then the second uh, professor I've been working with is Dr. Caleb Fuller, and we've been working on the topic of uh, commitment or the economics of commitment, which by that we basically mean how do parties make sure that other parties comply with the contracts they enter into? Uh, because there's a, a lot of people that think that the government needs to be involved at, at every step of the way um, to make sure that the parties are acting fairly. But the beauty of the free market is it creates a lot of its own ways for guaranteeing um, commitment to, uh, to different contracts. Wow, that's really interesting. That's not something that I think a lot of people consider, as you mentioned. Yeah. yeah. And so could you tell me a little bit about what your plans are after graduation and uh, any ways that you sort of see that work as a continuation of what you've been able to do mm -hmm. as I at IFF or just how IFF's been able to prepare you for that? Absolutely. So as has probably already become evident, I'm very passionate about economics. And uh, after graduating from Grove City College, uh, I intend to go to grad school um, to earn a PhD in economics. I, I really want to be able to teach and research, uh, in, teach and do research in the field of economics. And that has been directly aided by what I'm doing uh, here with the Institute for Faith and Freedom, both uh, with the opportunities to research with scholars like Dr. Fuller and uh, Dr. Rittenauer, and the opportunity to be involved in the, uh, the world of academic research and think tanks, um, which is very much something that the, uh, the IFF is enmeshed with. Uh, and so all of those things have really helped uh, uh, aid me on, on that path and on that mission. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Um, just one last reminder, head over to faithandfreedom.com and thank you all for tuning in. For more information on the Institute for Faith and Freedom, visit faithandfreedom.com.